If you've ever been in a cave, you know they are fascinating places. Some part of you always wonders what is lurking around the corner. Will you find a skeleton, or perhaps a creepy crawly wriggling out from beneath the rock? You never know what you will find in the dark, cavernous abyss. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be looking at three extraordinary cave discoveries that will rock your sense of reality. Strange Discovery Found Lurking Inside Colorado Cave Colorado is full of majestic mountain tops and intricate cave systems, but some places are stranger than others. In Steamboat Springs, there is a cave called Sulphur Cave, unlike any other in the state, according to Denver Museum of Nature and Science researcher David Steinman. Within the chasms of this long and sprawling cave, with barely enough room to stand, you can find thin tubular crystals and water from the town's hot spring. The dark and shadowy entrances give passage to cool breaths of air. While this cavern may at first sound like a fantastic place to sit while camping, think again. This cave is full of fatal gases and foul odors. The hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide are so abundant that just a few lungfuls can cause you to pass out, as if you fell entirely unconscious you would most likely perish. If that wasn't enough, acid drips from the cave ceiling, strong enough to burn through your clothes. However, this isn't the strangest aspect of the chasm. Steinman has described a type of worm inside the cave as blood red, with a web of veins on its skin. They are also susceptible to light and shy away as soon as they are exposed to it. Tens of thousands of these worms have been found in the cave and are thought to feed on a type of sulfur-oxidizing bacteria. Limnodrillus sulfurensis gather by the dozen and accumulate here in the only location they have ever been spotted, that is, with the exception of the nearby hot springs. Wouldn't that be a spooky surprise when taking a casual dip? Secret Underground Theatre Found in the Catacombs the Paris catacombs are quite an intriguing place indeed. So much so, the catacombs have been featured in many famous horror stories, such as the movie As Above, So Below. In this network of underground tunnels, lined with skulls and bones, you would not expect to find much of anything resembling the modern world. However, Paris police discovered one such thing only a handful of years ago. In September 2004, Police were undergoing a training exercise in uncharted parts of the catacombs when they found a sign that said, Building Site, No Access. Naturally, if there were such a thing, they would know about it. They pushed on and found a camera recording them. Continuing further into the area, a recording of dogs barking played, presumably to warn them to not go any further. But they did. They stumbled upon a 400 square meter chasm containing a cinema, dining room, and other amenities. It was equipped with a projector, chairs, and a fully stocked bar. There was also a stockpile of many films, ranging from 1950s movies to modern thrillers. If that wasn't enough, there was professionally installed electricity and even three telephone lines connected to the area. As it turns out, the area was created by Les UX, the Urban Experiment a mysterious group that improves hidden corners of Paris that have fallen into disrepair. It consists mainly of urban explorers, artists, architects, and historians, and they held film festivals in this little cavern in the catacombs. Wouldn't you like to secretly watch a spooky film beneath the streets of Paris and sip a cask of wine? Amontillado, perhaps? Wand discovered in cave is found to be 6,000 years old. If I were to ask you how long ago you thought the first people smelted lead, when would you guess? A thousand years ago? Two thousand? Maybe you would even say it was four thousand years ago, around two thousand BCE. All of these guesses fall short of the truth. Recently, researchers found an artifact made of lead and wood in Israel, and it's much older. The artifact in question was dated using radiocarbon dating which suggests the wood was created between 4,300 BCE and 4,000 BCE, which means this piece of wood is around 6,000 years old. Stranger yet, the stick is poking through a round lead ball. In nature, lead is often found with other elements like zinc, copper, or silver. 
this lead ball is quite pure, implying that the people who made this tool smelted the lead from ore. This is a significant finding because, until now, it was unknown whether people had been smelting lead that early. In the late Chalcolithic period, about 10,000 years ago, people were learning to smelt copper and copper alloys, which are considered more challenging to smelt than lead. So it was only a matter of time before we found some old lead artifacts. The purpose of this particular tool remains somewhat unclear. Looking at it, perhaps it could be a stabbing weapon or a mace, but some researchers believe it was a spindle. If the wooden shaft is a spindle rod and the lead object is a weight known as a wall, it could have produced some coarse yarn. It could also be a ceremonial scepter or wand used for ritualistic purposes. This is supported by the fact that it was buried with a handful of individuals in the deepest section of Ashalim Cave, implying a great deal of symbolic significance or importance. But what do you make of these time-warping cavern discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.